is a musical icon whose influence can be felt across genres and generations. After nearly 50 years in the music industry, Shaka Khan is still making hits and breaking boundaries. Her latest single, Woman Like Me, is a celebration of female empowerment, and it is currently in the top 15 on the Billboard charts. And joining me now is the living legend herself, Miss Shaka Khan. Welcome to the Grio. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm excited to talk to you, and I'm excited about this new single. Talk to me about this this new single. What, what's the inspiration? Well, you know, I'm, I've always, you know, um, throughout my career, um, been, um, I've always felt a certain way about celebrating womanhood, you know, especially black womanhood, you know. But I have to just, you know, when you look at it, it, it really is bigger than that it's about women period you know it comes mm. out to um it boils down to you know what women are to yeah. everybody we are the first teachers we are the first um almost everything to a child you know yes um, and i mean i i started out singing songs like i'm a woman i'm a backbone um uh, then I'm every woman, and um, however, um, this latest single that I have, um, "Woman Like Me," is something that is. I think it's the most. I think it is like it's got like knives and forks and the whole stuff. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I like that. I like that. Did you know go, going into your career that you were going to be making? anthems for women or, or is it just people just bring you songs and it's great or you decide I'm going to write this song and, and I'm just inspired by a particular thing or did you say I'm going to write anthems for women from the beginning? You know, my, yeah, my career has been most unplanned. Okay, let's get that straight. <laughs> yeah, I just do what feels right for me at the time. You know, if something comes past, comes to me, I'll, I'll write it down or if somebody uh, offers me something that I think I feel it. I, I often have to feel like I wrote the song myself. If somebody uh, gives me a song like, uh, you know, Ashford and Simpson often would, you know, give me stuff that I, I felt, wow, uh, I could have written this for sure. You know, mm. I felt that close to the, to the music. I have to feel like it's part of me already. So I'm a big woman. I was like that. Um, uh, However, by comparison to, to, to this new single, it's like um, the dessert, you know, like a pie or a piece of cake. And like yeah. I said, you know, this single is like the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it has, it's really, I think it covers a, 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 a real, it's, it's more, much more honest, you yeah. know, and, 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 it, and it appeals to women of today more than. You, you, you talk about honesty. Mm -hmm. um, is it easier at this stage of your career where you're already deemed a legend to make honest music, to be an honest songwriter, an honest person? Like, do you feel like you have to play the game less? Oh, I, yeah, absolutely. I've, I've, I've never wanted to play any games. You know, I don't, I can't play cards. I don't play, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, um, and I'm very serious about um, information that I impart to people. I, I, I'm very sensitive and cognizant to what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to get across. Um, I think I owe that to you know everybody. We all owe each other that in our communication to one another. <clears throat> you know, um, yeah. to make sure that you know, that we are not misunderstood and you know to come in a way that you know is is most impact. Uh, do you ever feel misunderstood? Uh, I'm insult. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you ever feel misunderstood? Oh yeah, absolutely. I I feel today I feel most misunderstood. <laughs> really? Why? Why? I mean, people have. Well, do you feel understood? I mean, how do you feel? No, I feel. I I, I rarely feel understood. But there but I, I guess I I guess I felt like because we've seen so much of you, heard so much of you. Yeah. You've had so many opportunities to tell you. your story. Yeah, people, right, right. People think they, and you too, I'm sure you get it, because you, you know, they hear you talking to people, and, you know, you've said things, and 
you know, you're in oh, yeah. you there. And uh, the people will assume that they know you. Mm. Now, they may know things about me. True. But even I am uh, still <laughs> on the road to learning who the hell I am. <laughs> Woo, that's a lifelong journey. It is. It truly, truly is. It is. Talk to me. Talk to me about your longevity as an artist. What's the key for being able to continue to not just perform your music, but to still make new music and generate interest from the audience? How, how do you do that? Well, in order to make new music or to do anything new, you know, for anybody in any uh, whatever form, you know, like you're taking. Well, I mean, if you're a talk show host or if you're a musician or whatever you are, to keep everything you have to keep it interesting for yourself mm. you know you have to have a genuine interest in what you're doing yourself um first yeah uh, and even if people disagree with you they can at least re you know they can at least sense that you are being honest with what you're saying with how you feel and you're not holding back and you're not afraid you know to to share you know what you're about to people that's that's important that people feel that you're not you know putting on airs and you're not faking it you know that you're being uh, truly you i think the thing we always get from you uh is genuine genuineness we always get the honest you the real you it's not a perfect you nobody's perfect right nobody's but but we but, right. but we get the best you that that you that you have um, and I think that's why people come out to your shows. That's why people love to watch you. I guess what I wonder is, as somebody who's making new music and still performing anthems for people, mm -hmm. what gives you bigger joy? Do you do you prefer to go out there and do the new song, or do you wait for you know through the fire to come on and you just throw down? I quickly tire of stuff. Mm. <laughs> I like to keep it coming new stuff coming you know i um people are often really um they don't believe it when i say you know that i i i don't not i, I used to give titles like songs that i'm really sick and tired of singing right now <laughs> you know <laughs> um uh but i can't do that anymore because people really take that stuff you know to heart they take it you know seriously they take it like <laughs> like i'm insulting <laughs> them is an insult to some people and i say i'm tired of singing blah 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 i think that they're that they're getting money every time i sing it and the fact that i'm not right. singing it well i ain't gonna lie to you i i take it to heart if i come to a shaka khan show there's about four songs i'm gonna need to hear and yeah. if i don't hear it i'm gonna cry and i'm go exactly. i ain't gonna talk bad about you because i was raised right but i'm gonna cry hold on I, can you do me a favor hold on because i want to bring you back because i have some rapid fire questions for you okay. we're gonna test your musical taste on the other side of this break everybody stay with me right here at the griot welcome back to the griot with mark lamont hill we are here with one of our treasures miss shaka khan since you are a legend i gotta know your musical taste when it comes to the classics so i'm gonna just fire off a few questions and all i need you to do is uh answer quickly and honestly okay now the first question uh is uh, uh interesting one the five heartbeats or the temptations temptations that's fair uh michael jackson or prince okay we're talking about personal taste here yes I, that's the even i have to go even on that one bobby brown or ricky bell who's ricky bell so that answers that question. But Ricky Bell was a member of New Edition, so and BBD. But I think I, 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 I think Bobby Brown's the right answer. We ain't, I'm not even gonna hold you up on that one because Bobby, uh, Bobby Brown, Brown is. Look, you know Bobby Brown is most underrated as a singer. Really? Okay, so I, he's, he's a, a singer. He's behind all. Phenomenal dancer, but most people don't put him as a singer. So that's he's interesting that you great, say that. He's a great singer. He really mm. is. I I know that for a fact. Wow. <laughs> If I saw wow. a lot of people do. Patty LaBelle or Anita Baker? You good. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not I ain't right. say it was gonna be fair. They're too they're they're, to, they're really so different. Um you know, they they do require different two different palettes. Whitney Houston or Mariah Carey? Whitney Houston. Uh after seven or boys to men. 
after seven. Whoa, I did not see that coming. I'm from Philadelphia. You just broke my heart, Miss Shocker. You just broke my heart. Oh, my God, till you do me right. All right, Luther Vandross or Teddy up. Pendergrass. Look, look. Hey, hold it. You got me guessing here, okay? That's I'm fair. Like... You're right. I put you I'm on the spot. Kidding. I put you on the spot. Now, this one is, is dear to my heart, so you got to have the right answer here. Okay, okay, okay. Luther Vandross or Teddy Pendergrass? Luther Vandross. That's and the I right answer. Them, I love them both deeply. Yes. Yes. It's like, I couldn't, I re actually, in true light, really, I couldn't pick one. That's, I, I will say, I'm the world's biggest Luther Vandross fan, so I would say Luther, but it is never. I love Teddy, I love me some Teddy, come on, huh? But a, 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 Teddy Pendergrass ain't never the wrong answer, so I, I'm, I'm with you on that. Last one, Earth, Wind, and Fire, or Maze featuring Frankie Beverly? Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> okay, okay. I go with the catalog is deeper. I I I, no, I don't, I don't think... got no catalog either. <laughs> <laughs> you say they just better. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we love you. You always so honest. Everybody stay with me. We got more to get into with Miss Shaka Khan after the break. You are watching the Grio with Mark Levine Hill. After you get all the hate mail. <laughs> Welcome back to The Griot with Mark Lamont Hill. I have been having a great time with one of the great icons of any generation, <laughs> the legendary Shaka Khan. We have been talking about lots of stuff. I, I, I want to ask you a question. Now, you made your mark on the music industry, obviously, and you're somebody that people will talk about forever. Um, what do you tell the new artists or the aspiring artists that they can do to get that kind of longevity, even if they don't become legends, just to get longevity? It's, so, it's, a, it's a big question, you know that. Um, first, you have to really develop and you have to cultivate a work ethic. Hmm. You have to be ready for getting your heart broken and get pulling yourself up by a bootstraps and dusting yourself off and start again, hmm. especially today. But this was, it's really actually no different today than it was, you know, a long time ago. Thing is, is that there are just a lot more obstacles today than there were, you know, a while back. I mean, there was the obstacle of, of racism. Like there was a time when, um, for instance, uh, Nat King Cole, people like that, they'd make an a album and they couldn't, they wouldn't use their picture on the album. Right. Put white people on the cover. That's right. So, I mean, without those sorts of things happening, there is another form of racism going on in this business that is a lot more intellectually based. Mm. Um, and, um, but it's no less stronger and no less um, tough on people, on these, on these great, great artists today. There are some amazing young people on the rise today that I, that, that I, and, and still, there, I mean, I mean, even my, even myself, I mean, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I've been victimized by, you know, so. How? By, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> oh God, here we go. You are young. Yeah, you're good. I like you. Um, <laughs> I love, I love talking to you. I mean, we could talk about some really real stuff and i like that mm -hmm. um you know uh yeah i've been a, i've been a, a, a victim of, of of racism in this business uh, i i could give you i can give you a, an instance okay yeah uh, there was a time when uh, when i first got with rufus for instance the first rufus album and the first the band when i joined the band they were all white guys i was the black chick out front and um we did a lot of like songs like Hall and Coal, Down the Dan River, and um, Did Nona Feel Good, stuff like that. It was real country, you know, based sort of music. Um, so we did that first album, which was called Ask Rufus, I believe. Or Rufus. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, maybe Ask Rufus. And um, so this one uh, promoter when he uh, he loved the album and we, we we got books somewhere in illinois in southern illinois and when we arrived by the time we'd arrived there we'd gone through like one group change where 
two of the two of the white guys and oh, uh, the guitar player and the bass player had left. So we had uh, uh, well the drummer as well. There were three actually. Um, there were three new members <clears throat> in the band, uh, two of which were black. So that made it sort of even. There were three black people and three white people. Well, we went. We got there to the to the venue, and the guy uh, said, um, "Well, this isn't the band that I booked." He was, <laughs> about it, very he, he was looking for white people. Yeah, of course. And so, um, do you know that um, I was totally against it? I was ready to leave. I said, "You know, if this is anything you want, we can go." I'm, I'm ready to drive back up to, to Chicago. Uh, but everybody voted. I was outvoted, of course, often <laughs> in Rufus, and um, decided that he would put three white cats up on the stage just holding an instrument. Wow. Just for looks. And that was just so blatant and such an insult. Yeah. So That's... there was an example. And I'm sure. Does that still happen today? Not not that exact kind of thing, but like, do you yeah, do you experience yes. forms of racism now? What? what? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, in, in my pay grade, let's talk mm. about that. You know, and that's no secret <laughs> to anybody. You know, and there and there are genres of music that were, <clears throat> excuse me, black people are just not present, and there is a a, a true wall. Yeah. That is keeping us from that area of um, self-expression. Um, country music. For sure. Rock, rock music. Um, yeah. It's fascinating to watch that. I remember when um, Lil Nas X had um, Old Town Road a couple years ago, and them country music folk almost lost their mind when it got labeled a country hit instead of a rap hit. I mean, I, I, I thought they were going to march in the street. I thought they, I thought they were going to protest in the yes. street. It's a serious thing. It's serious. Yeah. And it's crazy. This is, here we are, we're doing this beautiful art form of self-expression. I call, like to call it the language of the angels, mm. this communication that we do. And then someone can make it, just cheapen it to the point where they, to that point, just really sickens my heart. Yeah. It truly does. But despite all of that, and we I know we have to run, but what gives you hope? Because you, 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 despite all that bad news, you still are optimistic. You still have energy. You still support other artists. You still tour. You still make great music. What, what, keep, what keeps you going? Because I'm bigger than all that. Mm. What I'm doing is so much bigger than that small-minded, stupid crap okay i'm so much bigger and what god had told me to do with my voice and my presence is so much bigger than that crap wow well that i i will amen to that your voice your vision your talent um it's towered over so much of the op so many of the obstacles that you've had to face yeah. Over over your career, you've brightened our spirits, you've changed our minds, you've softened our hearts. It, it is the music of the angels, and you have the voice of an angel, and, and we're grateful for everything you've ever given us. I just want to thank, thank you and give you your flowers so right now. So much. Thank you. Thank All right. Everybody, yeah. Miss Shaka Khan, the legend, has been here on the Grio. We have been blessed. Everybody stay with me, because we got more coming up. I have some words for Isaiah Washington about his remarks. We'll talk about it on The Griot after this. Welcome to The Griot, bringing you the stories that move us. From culture, news, and politics, these are stories told in a way that is meaningful and important for everyone. From the clean water crisis in Jackson, Mississippi, abortion rights, mental health, and celebrity scoops. We'll be here every day to keep you on top of what's happening in the world as we know it. The Griot, stories powered by us. Watch our shows live every weeknight on The Griot Cable.